Thank you. And I, I first want to say, wow, this, is, this place is so gorgeous. I, every time I come, I'm really moved. And I'm thinking that this must be what Dad was talking about when in his last letter, he wondered if heaven would look a lot like Kansas. So I think it does. I think he can confirm that. I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm so thrilled to be a part of this landmark celebration of my dad and the Dole Institute of Politics. I'm going to tell you too that Elizabeth sends her warm regards and she joins me in thanking the University of Kansas, the team at the Dole Institute, all of our wonderful program participants including our speakers. Thank you Governor, thank you everyone for being here and the wonderful band and the color guard. It makes it very, very special. And in the audience there are a lot of people that have come from near and far, including members of our family, our extended family. And I want to make sure I recognize Stan Hurd today because he has done an incredible job, this incredible earthwork next to us, which so beautifully remembers and celebrates my dad. So thank you, Stan. Elizabeth is... Elizabeth is very sad to miss this special day, this special celebration. As Audrey said, she was unable to travel due to an injury, but I promise you, she's on the mend and she's with us here today in spirit. On my dad's 98th birthday, which wasn't very long ago, I gave him a special gift. I joined the Dole Institute Board of Advisors. He was so pleased I would be part of a place that held such a personal meaning for him and that he trusted with his legacy. He wrote a letter to the board to be read at my first meeting. And I wanna share some of that with you. In that letter, he said, his words, I've been extremely grateful for the Dole Institute since its creation. It's an active institution that promotes fundamental, decent values a place where every visitor can walk away inspired to make a difference in someone else's life. We as Americans are fortunate through hard work and an abiding faith and a better tomorrow, we've made America the greatest nation on earth. It has always been my belief that each and every one of us has the capability to spread that optimism to others and the Dole Institute truly captures that positive spirit. Dad called himself the most optimistic man in America. In part, that's because from the highest peaks of leadership, he saw America in all of its glory. But perhaps more so, he was an optimist because he had seen rock bottom from the grass and dirt of Hill 913 in Italy during World War II. Dad became that optimist as he fought his way through the operating and recovery rooms at Percy Jones Hospital in Battle Creek, Michigan, and through his very long journey of rehabilitation at home in Russell, Kansas. He accomplished the impossible, and he did it all along the way with hard work and the support of his parents and the community of Russell. He observed this country's greatness from the bottom to the top. And here, right here, he wanted to create a place to celebrate and foster that spirit of exceptionalism and optimism. Dad also wanted the Dole Institute to be a place for everybody, a place where folks from the left, the right, and the center, and folks from all over the world could come together. He knew they may not leave an agreement, but he wanted everyone to know they are welcome here for a civil discussion to be heard, challenged, and made better, and to leave having civilly listened to the other side with ideas for how to come together on issues where they found common ground. And most importantly, he wanted the Dole Institute to be a place for the next generation of leaders to learn right here at KU, that public service can be an honorable profession. He personified that, I think. 
Some of the leaders in this crowd today and thousands more will pass through those doors in years to come. For that, he was the most proud. So please, all of you who already support the Dole Institute, please continue to do so in any and every way you can. Help Audrey and her team reach their goals to honor and even exceed dad's dreams. Elizabeth joins me in thanking each and every one of you for this tremendous tribute to 100 years. If dad were here, he would tell you he has great confidence and optimism in the future of the Dole Institute. And he would tell you how proud he is that an institute of this caliber bears his name. Happy birthday, Dad.